Golden Experience Requiem runs by logic. Softer wet go beyond breaks logic. Yes, this will indeed be an interesting topic. Since Jojolian finished and Joski's new ability has been fully shown in action, we can finally determine which stand is the strongest in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Golden Experience Requiem, the Goku destroying stand that seemingly no one in the Jojo community understands, including myself of course, and Soft and Wet Go Beyond, the stand that literally broke logic itself, telling us that Araki really is aware how much of an ass pool he really is. I have been so excited covering this fight since these stands share a lot of similarities and two controversial abilities that makes them, well, and it makes for an interesting quote unquote discussion in the comments. Before we start, let me just remind you that this is indeed my thoughts. You can tell how incorrect I am and argue with each other in the comments. I will maybe read them, and if I do, I will probably have more enjoyment from that than taking care of my fucking sleep schedule. In other words, tell me whether you agree or disagree with anything in this video. Just be nice about it. It's fucking anime in the end of the day. Golden Experience Requiem. Oh my god, where do I even start with this bad boy? It wields the integral ability of reverting anything back to zero or the status quo, undoing actions, thoughts, and returning everything back to normal. Everything except for my dad, of course. A power that can fight over time itself. No, it doesn't control time, just tamper with its concepts. It does this by preventing everything from becoming real in the first place. Like when it kills somebody, their death becomes both real and not, making it zero, neither positive or negative, and therefore, infinite. One of the most messed up aspects is that the pain felt by the victim is still very real though. So Diavolo will die repeatedly, return back to zero, the point exactly before the process of death itself, and just continue the process again. I, I know all of this makes no sense, it's Jojo, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Through this ability, Golden Experience Requiem creates a new reality, determining itself what is real and what is returned to zero. The full potential of this ability is still unknown since the ability is passive, meaning it activates automatically without direct input from its user, which is an aspect strange from the regular Golden Experience. Also, it looks way cooler, which is also a plus. One final thing changed with Golden Experience Requiem is the life giving abilities of Golden Experience, since its ability is vastly more potent compared to the original Golden Experience. Requiem literally shoots fragments at Diavolo and gives them life at the same time, creating endless possibilities of dinosaur armies. Oh, wait, no, that's part 7. Never mind. Okay, so as you can tell, Golden Experience Requiem is incredibly powerful, even being powerful enough to make its user float in mid-air, a stand so unnecessarily overpowered that no one can beat it. Or at least that's what we thought. Golden Experience Requiem might definitely maybe lose against Soft and Wet Go Beyond. Just hear me out on this one. It's revealed in chapter 100 of Jojo Lean that Josuke's bubbles are actually incredibly thin spinning lines, just creating the illusion of a bubble. Rai Mamasuku saying that it's so thin to the point that it literally does not exist. It's not real in a way. The fusion between Soft and Wet and Killer Queen's abilities is what allows Soft and Wet to bypass one review's calamity, cross through any barriers of reality and transcend logic of the world. You can see what I'm getting at here. So, as we can see towards the end of Jojolian, Josuke is able to deactivate the explosive spin granted by Killer Queen, and with its deactivation allowing the bubbles or the lines to face through anything without damaging it, showing us that the bubbles doesn't exist in the same reality as everything else. So, that made me think. I think, at least, that Go Beyond can be Golden Experience Requiem because Josuke's Go Beyond and its theoretical non-existence won't trigger Golden Experience ability of changing reality and therefore return the bubbles back to zero. If Go Beyond was to fight Golden Experience Requiem, I would have no doubt in my mind that the bubbles would break time, space and logic just the same way as Golden Experience Requiem does but also transcend Golden Experience Requiem's ability since at least that one is grounded in logic. However, if Josuke and Giorno were to fight, then it would be a little different. So while I do think that 
if we just compare the stance of Soft and Wet and Golden Experience Requiem, that Soft and Wet is stronger. If we think about the users and put them into the equation, then it genuinely changes a lot of the battle, since Josuke has to generate his bubbles manually. And since Josuke's thoughts, actions, and entire being is still grounded in reality, and Jorno would just subconsciously stop Go Beyond from acting, or Josuke specifically, from even thinking about killing him and return that thought back to Siru. So even though soft and wet Go Beyond is a strongest stun, it's the fact that the user is being grounded in reality that breaks the ability for it to win over Golden Experience Requiem. Now, naturally, this could still be debated, and even though I think that Soft and Wet is a stronger stand, since it not existing would maybe make the bubbles not return to zero since they don't really exist, like after he started attacking it could not be reverted back or stopped, but since Josuke himself is still very much human, Golden Experience Requiem would not allow him to attack from the start. I don't know, that's the counter argument to my argument. So naturally I want to hear you guys discuss about this in the comments, since I do think if we were to separate the stands from their uses, soft and wet go beyond and its non-existence and the fact that the bubbles themselves are not real would counteract against Golden Experience Requiem and its ability to change reality. Basically it can't change something that isn't real. But that's only if we factor out Josuke from the equation. Therefore, Josuke 4 boss Higashikata might be the best Jojo, but the blonde teenager with a developing sexual interest in men will win this competition between useless information found in the homoerotic subsection of weave culture. I need to go to bed now. Be good people everyone. Peace.